Good evening, YouTubers. This is Brew by Me. Well, I just got home from work today and uh, had some beer mail, so I thought I'd. Uh, I was uber excited, so I thought I'd uh, get down here and uh, open them up and shoot a little video. Having a nice uh, home brew. It's my West Coast IPA. Anyhow, uh, I pre-opened it because. Uh, um, Elrock, who sent it to me, packaged it really well, so I didn't want to, you know, make you guys wait too long while I uh, cut all the uh, packaging off and stuff like that, so anyways, uh, let's open her up and see what we got. I don't know what's in here. I haven't uh, looked. Um, he packaged it really well. Uh, today is Thursday, uh, November 16th. And I believe he sent it last week, Thursday or Friday, so it took a week to get here. Not too bad, some nice packaging. Good job. So the first one we get is Propeller uh, Pumpkin Ale, which is uh, from the Propeller Brewing Company in uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. Um, this will be only the second propeller beer I've ever had. So we'll put that right there. Sweet, nice packaging. And the good thing is, is if you take care of opening it, you can uh, reuse it and reuse it and reuse it, which is perfect for the type of stuff, you know, reviewing beer and stuff, because packaging gets expensive on top of, you know, finding the beers for the people and, uh, you know, it costs, depending on where you're sending it from, you know, it's kind of expensive to send the, some beer. Yeah, Three Fields Harvest Ale from the Garrison Brewing Company. Um, I'm really excited. He did a good review on it, and uh, he said it tasted good. So uh, thanks a lot, Lee. Uh, that was the small box. Now on to the big box. Small box. Again, really well packaged. Oh yeah! Propeller India Pale Ale and a big bomber. Wow. Um, the Propeller India Pale Ale from uh, the Propeller Brewery in Halifax, Nova Scotia. A big thank you again for this one. I'll read all the details and stuff when I do the reviews, but awesome. So far, so good. Looking good. Thanks a lot, man. Up, like, up here in eastern Ontario, where I'm from, we don't get a lot of the uh, Garrison or um, Propeller uh, products. Uh, for propeller, we get the uh, little 341 milliliter um, special bitter. Um, another big bomber for the uh, Propeller Brewing Company in Halifax, Nova Scotia. This is their extra special bitter. Um, as I was saying, uh, up here in eastern Ontario, we don't get a lot of the uh, uh, Halifax uh, brewer craft breweries like Garrison, Propeller, um, 
you know, uh, I think there's a, uh, in New Brunswick we have, uh, they have uh, Pump House and uh, Pickaroons. We don't get that stuff up here. Uh, you know, like the odd time we get a Garrison's product, like uh, recently we had the uh, Garrison's uh, Pop Yard Pale Ale. And uh, like I said, we usually always have the uh, 341 milliliter bottles of uh, the uh, bitter. So, and this is awesome, man. This is so awesome. I want to thank you so much. It's freaking awesome. Oh, yes. The Garrison Brewing Company in Halifax, Nova Scotia, their Imperial IPA. So, I believe this is their double. Um, awesome, man. I like IPA, so I hope I like this one. Wow, this box never ends. It's just full of surprises, man. It's awesome. It's freaking awesome, man. This is truly, truly appreciated, uh, El Rock. This is so damn great of you. You know what? Uh, like I said, I have, uh, I have uh, three beer meals I'm working on. Um, right now, and uh, like I said, uh, I'm always open to beer trades or anything like that. It's just, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be right away or whatever. I just have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of overstock here, so anyhow, ooh, another a Garrison's Brewing Company in Halifax, Nova Scotia. This is their Nut Brown Ale. Uh, That'll be another one awesome to try out. Let's uh, kind of arrange this. There. Um, you know, and uh, you know, I really enjoy doing them. It gives us uh, beer reviewers and home brewers and all of that a chance to really uh, try out different beers, like different craft breweries and, and stuff like that, and really uh, explore and accentuate our palate. Um, the Pump House Brewing Hump Company in, uh, I think it's uh, New Brunswick. Yeah, Moncton, New Brunswick, the Pump House. Brewery. This is their uh, Fire Chiefs Red Ale. I've never ever um, had it. Uh, the only Pump House product they've ever had is the Blueberry, and it was okay. Um, I'm gonna do a review on it. I have some here, um, so we'll go from there. But uh, this is so awesome, man. This is the uh, Garrison Brewing Company in Halifax, Nova Scotia, their October 5th bra. He did a review on this for the last few years and uh, he says it's good. So I can't wait to give this one a try and uh, see what she gives me. Yeah, I'm still digging in here. There's still more in here. Um, yeah, so like I said, I have three beer meals I'm working on. I'm going to send another one out to... Uh, in a while. Um, I'm also going to send uh, one out to uh, uh, Mad Maxwell, uh, Maxwell Star in New Brunswick. He's putting a package together for me. I'm putting a package together for him. He gave me a list of stuff that he can't get up there, so I've been scouring my neighborhood to see um, if I can find it for him and stuff like that. And so far, so good. Oh wow, son of a bitch, cool. Uh, Pump House Brewing Company in Moncton, New Brunswick, again, this is their SOB Special Old Bitter. Um, I can't wait to give this a try. I haven't heard, uh, I haven't seen any reviews on it, so don't know what to tell you guys, but 
I'll get to it. I actually have a, a special bitter in my fridge that I made. It's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, it's still young, so whatever. Um, again, so yeah, Maxwell Star, uh, he asked me for some beers, so I'm putting a package together for him, and um, so for some of the beers that uh, you know he's looking for, and um, I have another package that uh, I'm putting together for uh, the Albino Rhino, um, you know. Anyhow, ooh, cool. This is from the Propeller Brewing Company in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Um, this is their Crystal Weissen. Um, I'm guessing it's a it's a Weiss beer. I think he did a review on it, and he said it was decent. So I can't wait. It's kind of a different bottle than the rest of them, though. That's kind of cool. Um, I want to say a big, big, big thank you to... Uh, Elrock, thanks a lot for all these awesome beers, man. Um, it's truly appreciated. Um, you know what? Keep making your reviews. You're doing a great job, buddy. Um, like I said, I have another package going your way in a little while. I'm just kind of fin finally tweaking it, and uh, don't worry about it. I don't expect anything back, really. Um, you know, if you do, great. If not, it doesn't matter to me. Um, anyhow, uh, I have a few things coming up, like uh, tonight there I'm going to try and do a couple more beer reviews. I'm not sure if I'm going to do Bose or Mill Street tonight. Um, you know, Mill Street is little bottles, so those I can bang back, you know, a few of them. Um, whereas the Bose are the big 600 mil bottles, so I can only do a few of them, I think. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Um, other than that, uh, basically I'm not really brewing anything right now. Uh, my kegs are all full. Um, like I said, I think in my last video I have a cherry wheat beer that's uh, fermenting back there. I have a uh, uh, pumpkin ale that's ready. I just have to keg it and carb it. Um, I have my West Coast IPA. Look at that lacing, man. Look at that lacing, and it's a good uh, IPA. It's not the same IPA I sent you, El Rock. It's my new one. Uh, I tweaked it and stuff. Um, it actually tastes a lot better. Um, um, so, um, yeah, so the cherry wheat beer, the pumpkin ale, those two are ready to keg. I just have to keg and carb them. Um, in the fridge, on my tap, I have the West Coast IPA, I have my special bitter, and I have the leftover, the cerveza. Uh, it's almost empty. And then, uh, um, my, uh, my, uh, uh, my ginger porter is, uh, or spice porter is uh, almost empty as well. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any left in bottles. Uh, it went pretty quick. And um, my Irish red there uh, is almost empty as well. So three ke three kegs are almost empty. I have two already ready to go into the kegs. So I'm going to have to make one more. It's probably going to be a dark one. Um, other than that, uh, I'll do my best. I'm renovating my basement. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, you might see different changes in the basement as I go. Uh, basically, I've just emptied it and, uh, you know, I'm going to get the studs up and the, all that other stuff. Anyways, I'd like to, uh, that's the big box. I'd like to give you a, give a big, big, big thank you to L Rock. Thank you so much, man. This is truly appreciated, man. Um... This is awesome, awesome, awesome. I, I, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, thank you so much. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Until next time, Brew By Me is out.